too hot, I'm stacked too cold, you gon' fall on the ground Off this way, doing all these shows, I've been on the road I don't care where I go, as long as I get paid Bad little fire, she been on my mind As soon as I get back, she can stay Do this all the time, this ain't no surprise Every other night, another movie can make back again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be doing a hair transformation video i'm like i'm pretty sure you guys see my freaking new hair so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got this color how i installed this wig literally you guys i did this from scratch i'm so proud of it every single wig i am getting better and better with the coloring with the install with the baby hairs with the plucking so i'm so glad that i could share like my learning experience with you guys because if we go a few videos back Girl, my front two was looking crazy, okay? I wanted like a very beautiful fall color, you guys. So I decided to do like this ginger type of, um, how can I like describe this color? Ginger? <laughs> On camera, it's looking way brighter because of all of the white lighting. But in person, it is like a lot more toned down and a lot more wearable um and this is the first time i ever like did like roots on like lighter hair comment down below what you guys think of this new hair that i have do we love it i am living for it you guys i didn't know that ginger would look like so good on me and bitch i am feeling myself okay you know who i like look like not for nothing um you know daphne from scooby-doo yes bitch daphne hudo girl yeah if you guys want to see how i got this new hair then you already know what to do definitely keep on watching and before you go hit that subscribe button if you guys want to be down with the prima donna nation and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys do like hair transformation videos that way i know to film more okay okay and until next time bye hey bitch i think i'm real cute though <laughs> All right, you guys, so jumping into voiceover, let's get this video popping. So these 613 bundles are from a company called Asteria Hair. I absolutely love these bundles. They're so nice and quality. They were very shiny. Um, and I just really like this hair. This is what the front two look like. It's not too much pre-plucked, which I like because it gives me room for customization. Um, and I really like that the hairline on this front two because it kind of like mimics mine, which I really like. It's just not like straight across. So anyway... We're going to be doing the watercolor method and I'm going to be taking the Adore dye. This is number 52 in French cog Cognac. And basically, I wanted to switch up the angle because in my last watercolor video, you couldn't even see shit that I was doing. And this shit looks so dope, you guys. Like, it looks like a science project. So, as you guys can see, I'm just pouring in the dye. And it actually looks like tea, like if we're making tea. Um, I'm using a silver spoon to mix this because um, you don't want to stain anything. Because this kind of like stains, Okay. So we're going to be putting the bundle of hair and to pull off this watercolor method, you definitely need platinum blonde bundles. Like you need the hair to be blonde, blonde, blonde. So what we're basically doing is making the water dark enough that it's going to penetrate and stain the bundles. And literally right before your eyes, you guys, with the bundles being there for just like a freaking minute, you're going to see that the dye is leaving the water and going into the bundles. Like it's freaking magic right before your eyes. So it's going to like take color literally in like a couple of seconds i don't know who invented this watercolor method but thank you to the slay gods that they did because girl it saves us time and money on dye because i only use two bottles to dye three bundles and a freaking closure so it saves time and money girl i did this whole entire thing literally in like 10 minutes if i would have hand painted it i would have been here for hours okay so Thank you for whoever invented this cause bitch is bomb. But yeah, this is what all of my bundles look like and my frontal. Now that all of the hair is nice and colored and this color is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It is like a copper orange but with a yellow undertone. It is so beautiful. So now I'm just going to add like a dark root and I'm going to take mocha from the Adore hair dyes as well. And I'm going to be taking this on a dyeing brush and also just putting the dye into a cup. That way it's easier for me to just dip the brush in. So I'm taking the, um, the front two wet, you guys. One thing that I love about these Adore dyes is that you can use them even when the hair is wet. If you read the directions, it actually says to damp hair if you guys want to get an even application. So you do not need to dry the front two, girl. 
nobody got time for that so now all you see me doing is just parting the hair right down the middle and now i'm just going to paint a little section of root you want to take your time with this because you do not want to stain the lace because we're using a dark brown and it will stain your lace so be careful you guys do not put it all the way dye does spread so keep that in mind um yeah you guys and i'm just taking section by section and i'm just coloring literally like a small amount of root you don't want to overdo it with the root So yeah, what I'm doing is pretty repetitive. You're just taking section by section and just kind of like painting. Um, I really like this idea of adding a root if you guys are scared of color. Don't get me wrong, the orange or the, the ginger color was beautiful on its own. But I feel, knowing myself, I'm not going to wear the wig as much because it is so bold. So if you guys are like me, literally adding like a shadow at the root is going to give it more of a wearable feel. It's kind of like with makeup. Like, you know, when your lipstick is way too light and you add a darker liner to just make it more toned down and more wearable. It's just like that with hair. If you add a little bit of root, it will make any bright color just a little bit more toned down and you won't feel as like, okay, bitch, I am walking around like a pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is what the front tool looks like when the dye is all in. I am just gonna let this sit for just 10 minutes. It is a dark color, so it's gonna take super duper quick. So you don't even need to let it sit there for dumb long. So anyway, I went ahead and made the wig off camera and the roots are looking stunning. It actually has like a reddish undertone because of the orange, so I love it. It is such a fall vibe and i'm here for it so now time for the application process i was singing to Nicki minaj you already know the schmood but anyway you guys know i'm dumb lazy all right like i'm not even gonna sit here and lie um i do know how to braid but i'm just too lazy to do braids i'm gonna be honest with y'all because i don't wear my wigs for that long like probably like a day or even take it off right after this video so i'm just trying to get my hair as flat as possible so i just do two flat twists and then i'm gonna squish it down with this wig cap and you guys see that i'm pushing my wig cap towards the back not necessarily all the way to my forehead because i don't want like that mark underneath the lace where you can like see your freaking wig cap so anyway i am cutting off my lace because i didn't do that so i'm doing that now and now i'm just gonna try her on you guys like she is real cute though i knew from the moment i put her on my head that it was like love at first sight okay so anyway now i'm trying on the front too i did notice that there is some lace you know dangling over my ears so you gotta cut it to your head shape and size so i'm just gonna cut that excess lace off my ears so that way she fits nice and comfortable and i'm gonna do that to the other side as well my camera freaking stopped recording that's why the lighting looks a little bit off at this part but yet yeah, i think my battery died i don't know what happened but the footage of me putting on the actual lace front is kind of lost but basically all i'm doing is just using the got to breathe got to be spray i'm not using the gel i'm just using the spray just like this as you see right here and i'm just going to literally stick my lace right on and i'm gonna dry it as i'm sticking it on a lot of people like try to um dry it and then stick it on i just this just works better for me and i'm just using the end of like a rat tail comb just to like press it down as i'm blow drying it Yo, comment down below if any of y'all are sick. I am so freaking congested. I sound gross. But anyway, I did want to mention that I also did customize the hairline and I plucked a ton, you guys. But that's personal preference. It depends on how like dense you guys like your wigs but me i like it to be really sparse and actually look more realistic like my natural hairline i did also clean um some of that free spray because it leaves like a shiny film on my forehead so i just used some makeup remover and cleaned that up and now i'm just adding the makeup back to my forehead because it did come off because i used makeup remover to take off the free spray and i'm also bronzing the edges of the lace because when you wear makeup on your forehead you normally bronze your forehead so that's why i like to add bronzer on the lace and to me it looks a lot better that way so anyway now i'm gonna add just a few baby hairs it's so crazy because when i first started wearing wigs i used to go so in with the baby hairs thinking that i needed to like hide my lace but honestly i feel like it looks so much better when you just don't overdo it so i'm just gonna take this little eyebrow razor and this is what i like to use to basically like shorten the hairs in the front to the so that way you could like swoop them and they lay a lot easier so yeah i'm just gonna do some really natural baby hairs and girl do you see that sideburn though i'm telling you if you're a beginner with wigs you know that it is a freaking struggle to get that damn sideburn to lay down flat so 
she was real cute okay she was on and it was a vibe so anyway when i'm done with my baby hairs i am going to begin styling this hair and i also wanted to let you guys know that i did cut this hair off camera as well i did just do subtle layers in the front and i did do like a v shape in the back if you guys want me to to show you guys how I do quick and easy layers on my wigs or you can do it on natural hair let me know in the comments below but anyway now I'm just gonna add some curls so that way I can show off the layers that I did and I showed you guys in a previous video how I did curls with my flat iron and that's like my favorite way to do like the the loose curls so that's all I'm doing you guys and you've seen me do this before so I'm just gonna shut up okay and let you watch the process because she is coming all the way together honey. Another new thing that I do now with my frontals is I like the hair to be going in like a backwards direction. It just makes it look so much more natural that way. So I'm using my flat iron kind of like a hot comb, you guys. By my next video, I will have a damn hot comb. I don't know why I always forget to grab a hot comb, but I'm gonna remember, I promise. So anyway, um, yeah, so I like for the direction of the hair to be going backwards. So I'm just gonna use some of the free spray as well just so that way the hair is stiff and it stays in that direction and keep pressing over it with the flat iron do you guys see what it just did like it just looks more like relaxed that way i like it so much more than having it just like come straight out of the front tool it just looks more polished as well so when it comes up to like the top bang area i'm gonna do the same exact thing because i want to add volume to that area and that's really gonna make this style look so like glam and like hollywood curls so when you're doing the bang as well you want to be curling like towards the back that way the curl is gonna fall as you guys can see just like that like to the back oh girl yes this is like hair porn right here like this color looks so bomb i'm also going to use some of the free spray on my comb just to tame those flyaways and you guys these curls make the like the cut of this hair like really look so poppin you can see all of the layers that i did because all of the curls are falling beautifully the bang is falling beautifully and i'm just so obsessed with the way that this whole entire hair came out comment down below what you guys think um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this hair transformation video i plan to do a lot more you guys i'm gonna start like a little series on my channel so yeah thank you all for watching and comment down the next color you guys want to see and until next time bye Fucking 10 and Genesis is mad critical because this bitch always got something to say. I got them bonds, I'm invited. I'm popping, I'm on the fight.